Hey guys, welcome back to Tea Beauty with Brooke and Amy. Today, we are going to tell you a few of these keto snacks we've been enjoying over the past few months as we jumped on our journey to keto. Um, so we're just going to jump right in and we're going to tell you all about the snacks. Okay, the first snack, um, we're going to go in with this little baby right here. These are the high key mini cookies. Um, they're made with almond flour, coconut oil, and collagen, and they do have chocolate chips in them, and they are so good. So good. They leave a little bit of that, like, almond, um, was it the almond flour, like, kind of texture in your mouth, but you take a swig, it's cool. So. <laughs> And also, um, these are great. They only have two gram net carbs, so they're a really good snack. Um, and they also have 14 grams of fat and four grams of protein. So this is a great way to curb your sweet tooth. And they're really, really yummy. Really yummy. Okay, so we're gonna stay on this chocolate track here. And this is the Pure Hazelnut um, Spread with Cocoa. And it is so good. It literally tastes just like Nutella. Yeah. With, I mean, a little bit of twang, but I kind of like this better than Nutella. Yeah, I do so, too. So, there's that on that. <laughs> and let's see. So, in two tablespoons. Two people. Two. Let's see. The net carbs on these is a little high. It's going to come in at nine grams net carbs. So, this is kind of like a luxury treat, okay? Yeah. Um, but this still is good and it's keto approved. Yes, yes. Um, staying on the chocolate track, uh, we're going to come in with some Believe, um, Bake Believe, I don't want to cut off the top, uh, Bake Believe white chocolate chips. And I don't really like these. They, they kind of have like a wang to them. I like the chocolate ones better. So... But they're good for baking. Yes. Um, you could, you could put that in something and it would be so much better because it would be like melty. Mm -hmm. Eating those just like as like a chip, it's really not that good. The chocolate ones are so good. So, good. so these have seven grams of net carbs um, per one tablespoon, but they do have 4.5 grams of fat as well. So you can use these. Awesome. Um, this is a keto snack bar. Mm, um, these are my favorite. <laughs> this one is the chocolate peanut butter pie, and it's so good. Seriously. Like, if you're craving like a Reese's or mm -hmm. anything of this nature, so good. You want to get it. And this is kind of like a it. meal replacement mm -hmm. bar. So it has 180 mm -hmm. calories, 14 grams of fat, and let's see. 11 grams of carbs. So this is more like a meal replacement bar. So if you really just want something sweet, I like to take these and I'll honestly just like tear off a little piece and I'll eat on this one bar for like a week mm -hmm. and it curbs my sweet tooth. You just seriously the only need like you a bite a or two. Bit. Yeah, only need a bite or two. Um, now we're going to go with some drink products. Um, we have the Premier Protein Cookies and Cream. So good. And then we have the um, Zone Perfect Keto Burn Body Fat, and this one is Butter Coffee. That one is good by itself. What we like to do with this is either go to Dunkin', get a one shot of espresso in a large cup yeah. with ice, and pour this in it. It'll Not unless you love coffee. Like yeah. you, If you want to get two, you can. it's kind of strong. I don't really like the coffee like strongness, so I get one shot with that mm -hmm. so good but and they have so many flavors in this mm -hmm. so you can you know whatever flavor you want in your coffee you can basically get it in this mix it with that shot of espresso and you have protein coffee for the day also you can make it with instant coffee which, which is so my recommendation much better Seriously. so much better take like two <laughs> tablespoons of instant coffee so much mix it in some hot water then fill your cup with ice and pour this in it and it tastes just like chocolate cereal milk I like, would advise putting a, a tablespoon or two of the monk fruit in there because that's what I do. I just stir a little bit in with the hot water. She <laughs> likes stuff super sweet. Yeah. Um, I'm fine with just the coffee and this so because this is sweet enough. But it literally tastes like chocolate cereal milk. It will curb your cravings and it has 30 grams of protein in it. Only one gram of sugar, 160 calories. I mean, it's great. You really can't go wrong. And only three and net carbs. If you love Cocoa Puff cereal milk. Seriously. 
you, you're gonna won't get that. And these are just good by themselves, the better coffee ones. I guess you mm -hmm. could mix it with an espresso shot if you really like a coffee flavor, but these are good by themselves. I do enjoy these. Okay, we're sticking with drinks here. Um, we're going in now with the greens, protein, greens, and super foods. And this has 35 whole foods, kale, Spurwin, spinach, barley grass, beets, wheat grass, wheat grass, and ginger root. Um, this is more of a like a acquired taste kind of. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of like it to drink it. But if you do want to drink it, just kind of down it. Yeah. That's what I did. This so. is for people that mm -hmm. don't eat vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, this is a berry flavor. It's a little chunky, but <laughs> if you want to get your vegetables in, here it is. Yeah. So if you if you don't really like vegetables. That's your, that's your ticket right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're coming in with the Bulletproof um, Collagen Powder, uh, Protein, <laughs> Collagen, yeah, collagen protein, protein, in Vanilla. So. It's so good. This is good to add. You can add this to your coffee in the morning to get a vanilla creamer flavor. Mm -hmm. I like to add this to my smoothies in the morning, and it helps thicken up your smoothie, plus you're getting uh, 23 grams of protein per serving, and this stuff is great. So good. Sticking with drinks here, people. Sticking with drinks. Um, next, we're going with the MCM Nutrien um, Exogens Ketone and Lemon Flavor. Mm -hmm. People. Seriously. You're not going to care how much this costs because you're going to want to buy it. Mm -hmm. I assure you of that. It is $30, but it will last you at least a month. Mm -hmm. At least a month. And, and it's amazing. It tastes just yeah. like lemonade. Not even kidding. Me. Yeah. It's good to get your ketones in <laughs> mm -hmm. in the morning because yes. they say after you drink these exogenous ketones, your body will then be in ketosis in 15 minutes. So you want to jumpstart your day with those. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried a different couple of different flavors. I do recommend getting lemon in whatever whatever brand that you get. Walmart does have a cheaper brand than this mm -hmm. that literally say like real ketones. It's in a black and green jar. It's only like $17 yeah. and it's the same size. This come from Amazon. But the lemon is the way to go. All the other flavors are kind of so wonky. Um, but if yeah, you, you definitely want to drink yeah. your ketones in the morning before you start your day. If you love lemonade, that's the it wave. It literally tastes like country time lemonade. That's so. the wave. So next we're going to go in with a little syrup. Mm -hmm. Um, we got the, what is that? Tarani. Tarani Classic Syrup in Vanilla. And that's the sugar-free. They do have sugar kind free. of that are sweet, and so you want to make sure it says sugar-free. Mm -hmm. And then we have a different brand, Cafe Agua Fresca in Vanilla as well. Mm -hmm. And this, actually, you can find at the Dollar Tree. They usually have vanilla or hazelnut. We don't like hazelnut, but this is a good find when you can find it, because this brand is like $6, and it's like the same weight. Um, we I like said that to, was vanilla. That's salted caramel, actually. No, it's not. That one. Oh, this one? Yeah, it's oh. classic caramel. Classic caramel. I said caramel. vanilla. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, this um, is really good to add in your coffee. I do sometimes so add this to my smoothies. When you're baking, if you don't mm, have vanilla extract, yes. you can add this in it. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to make sweet, put this in it. It's good. And there's no calories, no sugar, no nothing. Nothing. Just good flavor. <laughs> Um, now we're going to talk about, if you don't just like drinking water on keto, if you're just kind of over it, here um, are a few, a few options. options you could go with. This one is my favorite, the Southern Sweet Tea. Um, you can't really see it. <laughs> it is good. Like, if yeah. you like sweet tea, it's good. Mm -hmm. And then here's a Mio kind. Yeah. Um, and then... This is sweet tea as well. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what brand this is, but it's a fruit. It's from Aldi. Aldi, yeah. It's a fruit punch. So good. So good. So freaking good. Um, orange tangerine. If you like that, it's good. Mm -hmm. um, and then a strawberry watermelon. It's bomb. Yeah. And then I just got a different one. I think it was like a pink lemonade or something too. Mm -hmm. And it's good. Yeah, they have it's all good. kinds of these. You can basically find them anywhere. Like, like we said, these are the Aldi brand. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Walmart brand. You can get Mio. And you actually can get Mio with electrolytes in it, which are really good for when you're on keto because that's going to avoid you getting that keto flu sensation and you getting sick. You need to keep your electrolytes up. And um, water is very important as well. Water is a really main ingredient to staying in ketosis. So if you don't like the taste of water, find something that tastes good and go for it because you have to drink your water. Yes, have to, have to. Okay, now we're gonna go into our final snacks that we have. Just a couple. Um, these are just some peanuts. You can also do cashews as well. I love cashews. Mm -hmm. These are the um, 
what is that? Emerald? Em I, could, I couldn't say it for the life of oh me. Oh my gosh. Emerald Sriracha Cashews. And these are sweet, right? Yeah, they're sweet. They're sweet. So good. And then we have the jalapeno kind. I think they have a salt and pepper and an original as well. They do. And we find these yeah. at the Dollar Tree. These a are dollar. already pre-packaged. They have 6 gram of protein per package. Only 200 calories. This is a good way to not overeat nuts because mm -hmm. it's very easy to do and it will throw your macros off for the day. So these are pre-packaged. You don't have to worry about overeating and they're a delicious, delicious snack. So good. So good. And then... Our last and final snack of the video, which is probably my personal mm. favorite and probably her not personal no. favorite, is olives. Just olives. some olives. If you like olives, pop these beaches open and... That's disgusting. I like mm. black olives. I could eat black olives like that. Same. I don't like black olives, but seriously. And also pickles are really good. They literally have zero carbs, zero sugars, okay. and it's a good way um, mm -hmm. to kind of curb your appetite. Also, yes. if you're having muscle cramps because you're not getting your electrolytes in, pickle juice will help you with those muscle cramps. Um, okay, and now we're going to go in with the last thing because it comes from the freezer. Freezer. <laughs> Who put the muffins in the freezer? Uh, first, we're going to go in with the Rebel ice cream. Um, this one is the Butter Pecan. It's it's okay. As you can see, it's it's had a dip to go there. <laughs> it, it's okay. Um, if you like Butter Pecan, you'll like it because that's what it tastes like. So, <laughs> And this one is the Triple Chocolate, which is... Amazing. Oh, man, I've opened this one yet. <laughs> well, let's just see it. It's so good. Mm, so good. And then we have, um, which we have Rebel you can Walmart. find at Walmart and Kroger, usually. Mm -hmm. This is the Aldi brand. They get these seasonal. This is Sometimes. cookie dough. And then we have a mint chocolate chip. They're both really good. And it says um, they have five grams per serving. So this is a good way to get ice cream. And still, um, the Butter Pecan only has four, so mm -hmm. it's a little yeah. wider option. The Triple Chocolate has five. Um, but it's it's a good way to, you know, curve your sweet tooth mm -hmm. um, on keto. We do have one more thing that's not really keto per se, but it's low carb. Yeah. So you can treat yourself with these, and they are to die for. So if you've had a really hard week <laughs> or you just really need some chocolate in your life, this is going to help you, and it's not going to totally throw you out of ketosis. So... Uh, these are the Briars Carb Smart, as you can see, they're hello. Yeah. They are made with dairy, so if yeah. you're dairy intolerant, mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend this because yeah. these keto ice creams are dairy free. Yeah. This is not, it's just low carb. And then they also have these other kinds Variations. on the back. Mm -hmm. um, this as well, this one is so, so good. These so are good. actually in with these, I have them like together, so <laughs> yes, but this, like you said, if you're trying to treat yourself, it's really good, and it's not so going to totally knock you out. No. Um, no. All right, guys. I think that really wraps it up for the keto snack. For the video. keto snacks, yeah. Um, we do just want to point out and say we've been on this journey since yeah. about April. Yeah. Um, however, Amy has had some medical complications that has not allowed her to stick to it strictly as I have. Yeah. So combined with her going on and off and then me, you know, which don't get me wrong, I cheat. Um, you know, it's you're, nothing to live life for if you're not going to cheat every now and then okay. on your diet. That's not as bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we've lost a combined of about 60 pounds, which is crazy. And that's with no exercise. Like we have no, not no. exercised at no. all. I mean, every now and then we do like a TikTok dance or something. Yeah. But I mean, it's 60 seconds, people. That's not exercise. Right. Um, but yeah, so. I guess when you do it 400 times, it is. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so keto is really easy to follow. Um, we're going to be doing some more keto videos just to introduce mm -hmm. you to um, some more knowledge. And we're going to learn more about it as we go as well. Um, hopefully when Amy gets her surgery taken care of. She yeah, can... surgery number two. Hit it uh, full force. We're going to post them before and after pictures. We're going to do it all at too. once here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to post them before and after pictures um, of, you know, before we started keto and after just to show you that mm -hmm. this stuff really works and you don't have to exercise. Um, but yeah, so we hope you. Uh, well, we'll talk about my situation a little later yeah. in a later video, but for now, I cannot be on the diet per, per se. I can I can kind of stick to it, but I can't do yeah. the ketones and the drinks and the proteins and stuff like that. So I just kind of have to have keep to it light, keep it light. 
So I probably will be gaining a little bit of weight, but after I heal, <laughs> um, I will be jump starting right back on track. So yeah. once everything is done, probably what are we in July? So in August mm -hmm. is probably when I'm going to hit hard. Yeah. So, August is going to be, we're going to start incorporating exercises yep. in, which in, with keto, you don't have to like do a whole lot of cardio and a lot of high impact stuff mm -hmm. to get results. It's mostly low impact and body stuff. So yeah. we'll probably have some videos of that too, just showing you what exercises we enjoy and stuff like that. So just keep watching. Keep watching. But yeah, that is it guys. I think that wraps it up for the video. Mm -hmm. We hope you liked. We hope you stay for the stories to come. Yes. For the surgeries to come, <laughs> the stories to come. More keto on track to come. Yes. <laughs> uh, like I said, in August, we will be doing that. July, we're going to kind of take a break because I'm not going to be able to film anything. So yeah. Yeah. We're going to do some pre-filming, <laughs> yeah. get some content out there mm -hmm. and yeah. We'll still, we'll still get it for you guys. But yeah, for this month, kind of bear with us and then we're going to be on track. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. We hope you like, comment and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see down below. Turn your post notes on every time we upload a video guys. <laughs> yep. And I think that that's it. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.